It's my first solo cruise on MSC Seashore. So my check-in was super simple. Got my car, got my little activity form. I had a late check-in, four o'clock, but I'm here. And I'm going on the ship, to ship. All right, so I'm just getting on, maybe 20 minutes after getting here. See the bar down there, we gotta do the um, the security drill. That's I gotta figure out where I'm supposed to go. Excursion station right when we get off the ship. Get ready for Christmas on here too. <laughs> this place is fancy, fancy. Lights, lights, lights galore. So Jim, just like MSC Seaside, Seashore has the same kind of high tech elevator. You push it here and it tell you which elevator to go on. After walking up seven flights of steps, I have found my stateroom. A little out of breath, but it's a nice room. Just for me. I'll show you the balcony soon. The stateroom. And the bathroom. Standard for cruise. Now, I'm not sure if they clean my room thoroughly. There are bottles here that are drunken out of. Drink out of somebody. Drink out of these bottles and they're sitting here on my floor. And my balcony. Well, I think I'll be spending a lot of time. about time to sail away about six o'clock they have the a pool out here and a hot tub two hot tubs out here in the jungle area I'm on deck 16 where the market the food is All right, so I went up to level 17 just one flight up and you can see the pool down there with the hot tubs it's a nice view now, I, Probably that'll probably be on tomorrow, I would think. See ping pong going on over there. They have pool over here. This appears to be a Lego of an MSC, the character. They also have a kids area. Okay, this is the hockey game. And then the ping pong's right back over there. There's a bar, a bar up here as well. Back on 16 now. They got some yummy gelato at the bar. And on 16 is also the Marketplace Buffet. They have a kids only area for food. Like French fries, rice, quesadillas, fruit. They have different drink stations, water, ice, uh, grapefruit, lemonade, strawberry, kiwi, tea, as well as coffee. They have plenty of fruits, a fruit carving station. They also have a salad bar, and destinations. The different meats and potatoes. 
They have a, a carving station. They have hamburgers, hot dogs, steaks. I'm gonna try a hamburger. Pork chop, sausage, french fries, hot dogs. All right, got some other stuff. All right, they got an arcade play area as well. Boom of champions. You can do a little ball. Get tickets. Play games. Those are cute. More games. really pretty out here at night and it's chilly too I made it to deck 19 and I found the pool not the pool I, 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 I found the slide the kids play area is open but it's really cold out here so you don't see no kids out there And they have two whirlpools out here on 19 as well, but it's um, dark and cold and they have them covered. So those will probably be open tomorrow. And they got an exclusive area, top 19. That's, I'm barred from. But per perhaps you want to upgrade so you can go up in there. Really pretty. All right, we got a sports bar, casino, casino. Sports bar is really nice with the casino. I think Pittsburgh Steelers is going to be playing tonight. A nice big screen here. You get your own private station and watch it as well. All right, I'm sitting in my own little private station. Watches and sunglasses. All right, I've reached a real casino. The casino's really, really, really big. Nice size casino. Wow, I can spend a lot of money in here. Buffalo. One, two, three, four. Restaurant. All 
I got a barber shop. Got a nice spa. And we got a gym. The gym is very, very, very nice. All right, let me get on one of these treadmills for a little bit. My first workout on a cruise. It's all perfume. Some makeup, some fingernail polish, and some lotion, and then some alcohol, and you can taste some. At Finchy, you can get chocolate. Doesn't like chocolate, and even more chocolate. It's the first dinner of the cruise. I got some chicken uh, croquettes. Got a Caesar salad. And one thing you should know is that the uh, second entrees are now $5. So you can only order one entree for free. If you want to order a second entree, it will charge you for $5. All right, time for some lasagna. All right, gonna top this meal off with some chocolate cake and some ice cream. Then it's time for bed. Good morning. We have made it to Nassau. Well, really good afternoon. 12, 12 p.m. And it feels really, 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 really good out here. So I'm gonna do my own self-guided walking tour that I found online and I'll keep you updated on where I end up going. All right, so I'm out exploring. I'm going to try to find the Queen's Staircase. I downloaded Google Maps offline for downtown Nassau to get me there without having to use my phone service. Let's see if I can do it. All right, I made it to the the Queen Staircase, and they are jamming out here in Nassau. All right, here are the, I think it's 66 steps. I'm gonna head on down. All right, I'm heading down. It's muggy down here. All right, I made it down the step, 66. And let's see what's down here. It's really interesting. If you look up, they have all the trees. It's nice and shaded down here. Big rock. All right, so that's an interesting tree growing out of the rock. All right, so that's the queen staircase. Let's see what's next on the agenda. All right, the next stop is Fort Fincastle. And I see fried, I see bohemian lobster, but I'm so full already. I'm about to come back and get that. All right, I made it to uh, Fort uh, Fincastle. And here it is here. And they have different shops up here as well. Um, you, can, um, you can look at. All right, I decided not to go in, but there's some steps to take you in there. I'm gonna go to my next destination. All right, next up is the government house. All right, so I've made it to the government house. I'm gonna see if I, if I can get inside. The guy said go down and go around and maybe they'll let me in. This is it, the governor's house, government house. Check out the school day hours here. 7.30 to nine and then 2.45 to four. I 
think I would like that in America. All right, they're closed, but she was kind enough to let me come up and take a picture as long as she can see me. All right, I made it to the Gray Cliff Hotel and I believe it's the, the, the uh, oldest hotel in Nassau. They got a little history of it up on the wall. But in a nutshell, it's the richest and the elegant home back to 1926. And here it is. We'll try to go inside. All right, so this is a beautiful wine, Christmas tree. Oh, this is nice. All right, nice eating area out here in the back. Let's see. He said it was a garden back here. Got some cute little babies. Hey, y'all. See. All right, some more greenery. Those things are kind of scary. What if something like that was coming after you? This is a very, very cute street at the museum. That was another item that was on the on the um, sites to look at. Museum of the Bahamas and they got these umbrellas up here as well. We have a chocolate tour and a cigar tour as well. Right here, great so Great Cliff own a lot of stuff around here. Alright, the last place on my tour is the John Watt Wings Distillery. So I'll go here and the next one after this was Junico Beach, but I think I'll go get dressed on the boat and then go out to the beach. All right, I made it to the, to the distillery. I guess I'll try to go in. They gave me some pina colada to try. It's really good. Yeah, it's kind of icy. That's really, really good. Let's see what's in the back. I was able to find some goods, some vodka, some paradise rum, some amber and pale rum. It was so good, I decided to get a big cup of it. Well, I decided to just go ahead and get all my sightseeing out before I go back to the ship. So I made it to Junico Beach. It's pretty and the weather is so, so, so nice. Go to water park, you can do some kayaking, you can do some paddle boarding, you can do some pedal boating. If you like crabs, you can do that too. There's some cute little birdies. Which one gonna let me pet it? Come here. Alright, I'm out on this little pier. I need to pay attention because I don't want to fall in the water. You know you can't come to the Bahamas, Nassau without going to the straw market. Hey there, pretty lady. Let's see how beautiful I feel after I go into the straw market. We got lots of goodies, lots of stuff. A lot of the shops are here closing. You know what? It's less people in Bahamas and Nassau overall during this trip. Maybe because it's in December, maybe because it's not during peak season, but it's less people here. I always like the wood carving place. Piggy banks. Turtles. He needs a cane. Well, that's big, look at those huge fish. Now that's what you call talent. It's talent. Well, nobody in there made me feel pretty today. I'm heading back to the ship.
It was good. So let me tell you about it. It's about two and a half hours. It's about two and a half hours self tour. It wasn't bad. You definitely got to be in some good shape. Hey, you gotta be. You gotta be in good shape. And it's great because it wasn't as um, hot in December. I think it's like December the 8th, so it's not as hot. But yeah, it was good. I would definitely um, definitely re recommend it. I will put the, the link to the blog in the chat so you can kind of do the route that I did. Till later. That amphitheater is a really nice addition to the to, to the port. Looks like they're going to have a concert out here sometime soon. All right, I've made it back. Let's see what kind of trouble I'm going to get into on this ship. All right, we have arrived at Ocean K. Let's go. The weather out here is beautiful. Plenty of things to do. You can rent some stuff and sign up for some excursions. You can do some jet ski. They got some private boats out here. Got some shops over here, like a bar over there. It's my second time here, and I like it. Yeah, so this one's called the Springer's Bar Ocean K. They got some coffee here, some specialties. Some ice cream. They already warn you, don't enter. I want their like apartments. I got a food court called Seekers. We got a cute little place called Seekers Cove. They got some beef shacks out here. Got some burgers, hot dog, pasta salad, brownies, and french fries. Found a nice beach area. All right, and there goes our boat, MSC Seashore. Jet ski, anybody? That beautiful, so blue. All right, so they got an ocean house, uh, yacht club, uh, members only area as well. All right, so I got real, real hot. So now it's time to go snorkeling. No, this water out here is cold. You know, you gotta get that first step in there, then you be good. You gotta take the plunge. All right, it is super cold out here. And somebody said, thank goodness for the YouTuber. She does another, I'm a YouTuber to show how this stuff looks, right? It is super, super, super cold. But it's very, very, very nice. And I see all these beautiful big fish just kind of like, curtain by me. <laughs> I still haven't taken a plunge yet though. It's been a great, great, great day at Ocean K. So you can get this beach shack here. You can purchase some things. They got some calamari, octopus, some lobster, some ceviches, some shrimp. I found this nice little place over here. There's hardly anybody here. Just come out here and just look at the water. Yeah, so one thing I can say is a very nice and chill place. You can come out and find some places to be alone to just have a good time. If you don't want to be around people, you don't have to be around people. If you want to be around people, you can do that too. All right, the lighthouse is right up yonder. Try to get to it. All right, I found the boat. I got close to the boat here. 
The lighthouse is right over there. Let's see what kind of views we can get from the lighthouse. So I'm back in my room from some sun and fun and they have these tags in my room. Talks about disembarkation, tells you what to do. So I'm number 23, so it appears that I get off at 9.30 and that's definitely too late for me. So I'm gonna try this express walk off. So that means that um, you can leave the ship immediately after we see clearance. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm carrying my own stuff. I, I got something to get into, something to get to when I get home. So I don't want to be two hours sitting here and waiting to get off this boat. I found the bridge of size. It's on deck 16. So this is nice. That's the stage and the area here. You can have your own little bed up here by the pool. You see the water is way up, way up here, so it's pretty deep. All right, I made it back to the slide from day one. Now you can see all the children playing, the little kids play area. It's great for children. All right, I find the basketball goes. They didn't have basketball tournaments early in the week. The entrance to the slide. Woo -de -woo -de -woo. And we got an adventure drill. That looks fun. Oh, I see that there's an infinity pool back there on the elevator. It's very nice. 